What is up you guys? All right, so financial advice seems to be coming in two different extremes right now. One being hold your money as cash and the other being it's a great time to invest. But what else can you do without putting your money in a stock market or some mutual fund with the risk of it just all crashing down right now with all of these uncertain times? Well, I have something for you and technically it's not an investment, but there is a way to make money on your money without having the risk of investing and that is going to be a high yield savings account. I put together a list of the top five high interest savings accounts where you can now park your reserved cash or your emergency fund or your newly funded government stimulus check. Now, if you've never heard of a high interest savings account before, you're not alone. According to a survey done by Credit Karma, only 25% of Americans have a high yield savings account. Yet 93% of Americans have a bank account, but it's with a traditional bank account, not a high yield savings account. So a high yield savings account is the type of savings account that is going to pay 20 to 25 times the national average of your standard savings account. Typically people hold their savings account from the same account that they have their checking account from. Uh, most of the time when people go into your Bank of America's, your Chase's, they open up a checking account and they say, would you like a savings account too? And without even second guessing it, people will say, yep, go ahead and sign me up for it. So yes, making transfers between the two accounts, your checking and your savings at your traditional bank, it's fairly easy, but some of these high yield savings accounts, they do offer checking accounts as well. Yet these large banks, they don't want people knowing about high interest savings accounts because you know, they're making two to 4% off of your money, which they are a bank, they're gonna make some money, but why not go with a high yield savings account that's gonna earn you somewhere between one and 2%. Yet these large banks, they do not want everyone to know about high yield savings accounts. Otherwise, most people would just leave and go to these new banks. Now, currently, if you are at a Wells Fargo, a Chase, a Bank of America, you're probably earning somewhere around 0.09% on your money in your savings account. So let's take a look at these banks and they are gonna be earning you somewhere between one and 2% on your money. And I have a special bank which you are gonna earn over 3% on and I'll explain exactly how that works. Now all of these banks are listed from lowest to highest so stick around to the end and find out where that 3% plus bank is and how to get it. Now the first one that we're gonna dive into here is gonna be called ViOBank. Now ViOBank has been around for a while uh, the interest rate that you're going to be getting from ViOBank is going to be 1.60%, uh, a pretty fair uh, interest rate. And like I said, this is going to be our lowest one, so they're only going to go up from here. One of my favorite parts of ViOBank is that there are absolutely no monthly fees, so that's a plus. So it's only going to take $100 to open a high interest savings account with them. Now, if you are opening a high yield account, most likely you are going to be depositing at least $100. And even if you are just put $100 in there, you're gonna earn yourself a whopping $1.60 for the first year. Now, by every means, that is going to be better than a $10 fee that you'd be getting from a normal bank account to just have an account open and for them to hold your money. They are also gonna be FDIC insured for uh, up to $250,000. And you're gonna get six monthly withdrawals or transactions uh, with no charges. Now, if you don't know what FDIC insured means, it just means that uh, they are federally insured, so your money is protected. If something were to happen to the bank, uh, the government does have you covered up to that $250,000. All in all, a fairly good bank for high interest yield savings. So if you are interested in ViOBank, there will be a link in the description, as there will be for all of the banks that I will be covering today. Hey, really quick, if you haven't already, could you please tap on that like button? I would greatly appreciate it. All right, back to the video. Next up is going to be HSBC Direct, and they also are gonna be offering 1.60% interest on your money. Now, HSBC Direct is fairly similar to ViOBank, except for that there is only gonna be a $1 minimum deposit into the account. So uh, if you're not needing to put $100 in right away in your first deposit, you kinda wanna test it out, you didn't really wanna dump a bunch of money in there. Uh, with HSBC, you can just deposit as low as $1. Uh, there also will not be any monthly fees on HSBC Direct's uh, savings account. Now, one of the things I like most about this bank is that your money is going to be collecting that 1.60% all the way up to, it. from what I can see, it doesn't really have a limit. Um, if you check on the website right here, you can see that uh, HSBC Direct savings accounts, which are accurate as of 5-6-2020, are 1.60% APY on balances of less than 15000 more of 50,000, but less than 100,000, and more than 100,000. So it looks like 
they don't have a limit here. Account is not available to business customers, so it's got to be a personal account. But as for uh, you know the APY, it doesn't really look like they have a cap on it, which. You know, I've looked around trying to find somewhere that says that it does have a cap, but I can't seem to find it. So with HSBC Direct, you are also going to be FDIC insured up to $250,000. Uh, that is the maximum amount allowed covered under the FDIC. So uh, you will be getting that amount covered as well. So another solid choice between uh, a 1.60% interest rate as the first two were kind of the exact same. But we're going to bump up our interest rate just a little bit to 1.65%. And the bank coming in at that rate is going to be Popular Direct Bank. Now to get that additional 0.05% increase, you are going to have to be depositing a minimum of $5,000 into the bank account uh, upon your first initial deposit. Now if you're going to be putting that much money into the savings account, you know, that 0.05%, uh, it's definitely going to help out, but you know, it's definitely not going to make a massive difference. Now with Popular Direct, there are going to be some downfalls uh, as with just the $5,000 deposit, but that is also going to be the fees. As you can see right here, they have a list of fees. Now the one that I'm really not happy about here is this dormant account fee. So you're telling me that if I don't put any, you know, there's no other information here, but if I don't put you know, a certain amount of money into my account every month, they're gonna be charging me $5 per month. And that is just, that's not cool. Now, one plus of this though, is that when you go on and do your research on Popular Direct, they do make it very easy for you to find all of the information on the savings disclosures. So you can see here, they have the Popular Bank product guide, you know, bank disclosures, funds availability, schedule for fees, Popular Direct. I mean, this is really nice how they kind of just lay everything out for you. You can get a good overview of it makes it a well-informed bank. Now, if you're interested in earning that extra 0.05% interest rate, then by all means, go ahead and go with Popular Direct. But if you are wanting to earn even more interest, I have a bank that I would recommend more. And that is going to be Comenity Bank. Now, Comenity Bank is going to be coming in at 1.70% interest rate on your money. As for your opening initial deposit, it's only going to be $100. So uh, that is a plus there as well. You don't got to put $5,000 in. Uh, they are also FDIC insured, so you're covered there. A big plus if you're adding in a lot of money is going to be that you're going to earn interest on up to $10 million in this account. So anywhere between $0 and $10 million, you're going to earn that 1.70% interest rate on it. As for fees, it's pretty great on that end as well. There are no monthly maintenance fees. Now, one of the great parts of Comenity is that they have a calculator that you can just use on their website to get a good idea of of where your money's gonna be at from them, whether it's over the next five years, 10 years, or 20 years. So you can see that you just plug in under your savings taxes and inflation inputs. You can put in your 10 years, you know, a $200 monthly contribution, uh, the amount currently that you have invested in it, your expected return, expected inflation rate, federal tax rate, state tax rate. Uh, it's really cool what they have laid out here for you to kind of get a better understanding of what you're doing with your money. So if you're looking for a bank account that's going to have minimal fees, minimum opening deposits of only $100, and you're going to be earning that 1.70% interest rate, Community Bank is probably the choice for you. Now, I do have a bank that you can earn up to 4% on, and a 4% savings account rate, uh, you know, obviously these are some of the larger online banks that are showing, you know, 1.5% all the way up to 1.7%. Uh, you know, how in the hell can you get 4%? Well, there is a catch to it, but you know, if you are willing to do it, you could definitely get that 4% interest rate on it. Now the bank account that I'm talking about is called Beam. So the way it works is when you sign up with Beam, you're going to start earning 0.20% interest right off the bat. Now, of course, that is a little bit better than a traditional bank, but we want to get up to that 4%. So once you start sharing a link with people and just recommend Beam to them, whether they either sign up or they actually open a bank account, you're going to earn uh, different rates. So say you uh, sign three people up that open a bank account, you then would have a half percent interest. Now, if you share it with 30 people that open up a bank account, you're going to start hitting that 4% interest. Now, you can also bump it up with what they call billies. So billies work like if you share the link and then say they don't sign up for the account, but they do put in their email, you're still going to earn a certain amount of billies that can go towards raising uh, your interest rate. So all in all, they are just trying to get their name out there and they're giving people that are just hopping on in the beginning a chance to earn a really good interest rate 
on a high yield savings account. So if you are interested in Beam, I have a link down in the description below and you go ahead and tap on that. It'll get you started, um, get your account opened up. It's gonna help me get out from that 0.20% that I'm at right now, uh, get us both up to 4% the more that we share it with people. And you know, whether if you wanna do it that way or if you just wanna open a traditional uh, high yield savings account like some of the other ones that we covered. And of course, I'll drop those links down in the description below. And that's gonna be it for today's video, guys. So uh, I hope you get signed up with one of these. If you're not already, check out Beam. Uh, that definitely can help you out and start saving. All right, I'll see you guys later. Bye.